This module is made up of classes to teach you how to create dynamic blocks to perform different actions. We explain in this class how to define a rotation and movement action block. Let's start creating the block. Open the SOFA DWG file, double click the drawing to enable block editing. Start by modifying the block base point, which is used for positioning the project block. Use the base point parameter to do this. Select these two object snaps and place the new base point at the intersection. Now let's apply the actions. First use the move action to move a project block easily. This action is simple to apply. Let's start by inserting the point parameter. Place it at the midpoint of the sofa. Next place the parameter name on the screen and define the grip display. See now there is an exclamation point displayed next to the parameter. This means that no action has been registered. Then insert the move action. Enable the respective action and then select the point parameter. Finally, select all elements which are part of the block. Then click Test Block to view the results. After selecting the block, two grips are displayed, one base point and the other the point parameter. Click this grip and drag it. Move the block to any place in the graphic workspace. Notice how when you change the block position, the base point also changes position. This is because you inserted another base point when the dynamic block was created. The last action is to add the rotate action to make block rotation easier. We needed a parameter to make the rotate action work the same way as the move action. Then begin by inserting the rotation parameter. Enable the tool to insert this parameter. Select the base point and specify the radius parameter. Then define the default rotation angle, tag position, and then the number of displayed grips. Now the parameter has been inserted. The next step is to insert the rotate action. Enable the tool, select the parameter and all existing objects in the block. Let's modify the Move Action selection to include the Rotate action as well. Right-click the mouse on the action and then select Action Selection Set and Modify Selection Set on the new menu. Select the Rotation parameter and that grip and then Confirm. Test the block again to see if the action was correctly defined. See when we apply these two actions, it's so easy to rotate and move a block. So in this class, you've learned how to define a dynamic block using rotation and movement resources.